Well, howdy. Welcome back to the Double M Farm. Haven't had a video up in a while because, quite frankly, the weather has been crap. We finally got some sunshine and it's drying out where I can get out and start doing a few things. So I'll have some uh, trencher videos coming up real soon. But uh, while I was uh, doing some working, I realized I got to put some tires on the little car that I drive daily it's my daily driver because it's so good on gas and i don't have to tell you how bad gas is right now a little 98 nissan altima it's about 38 miles to the gallon front wheel drive and it does wear out front wheels front tires so i just got a couple of tires and put on using the harbor freight tire changer and the new harbor freight bubble wheel balancer uh not, I didn't video me changing the tires. There's the old ones I took off. I didn't video me changing the tires because there are a million videos on YouTube about the Harbor Freight tire changer and how you use it properly or in, improperly. <laughs> and uh, it took me maybe 30 minutes to remove both of those tires from the rims and put the new tires on. And that was simple. But the balancing part, I was going to give them to my son. He's a mechanic and let him take them to his shop and balance them. But I'm sure a lot of you have seen and heard that Harbor Freight has been, over the past six months to a year, have been upgrading, if you want to use that word, a lot of their uh, tools. Um, and the prices are going up on some of them, but it's a better quality tool. Many of them are still made in Japan, excuse me, in China. I wish they were made in Japan. Still made in China, uh, as is this new, quote-unquote, new wheel balancer. The original Harbor Freight wheel balancer uh, had the red base and looked exactly like this. And the last price I saw on one of them was about 60 bucks. This new, quote-unquote, new Harbor Freight bubble wheel balancer is $100. But after doing some research, uh, I found out that uh, it's, a, it's been being manufactured to a little bit higher um, quality control. Um, the, the hub here is uh, much more well balanced and made. If you've seen any of the videos of the older version with the red base, I guess they did a black base so you could readily tell them the old ones from the new ones. But the old ones, when you would rock it on the needle, it would rock once or twice and stop. There just wasn't a lot of play, which you need. The more, the more, the better, as far as accuracy and balancing. This one has got a better needle point and a better defined hole on the inside. And it, uh, it has a real good, you can see there how long it rocks. It is very sensitive, has a real good rocking motion no matter which direction you do it. It's not like it rocks once or twice and stops like the old one did. And it's machined on the inside. It's smoothed out. Machined very well. Let's grab a flashlight here. It's hard to see the bubble in here. Let's see if it'll... No, it's not going to show up on camera. There's no way for me to get the bubble to show up on camera just reflects too bad oh well yeah there it is maybe not really trying to get the oh well you just have to trust me when I say it's centered so it's uh it's much more sensitive it uh it, it balances real well and like I say this thing is heavier than the original one it's machined very nicely on the inside smoothed out the hole down in the center seems to be a little more precision it's dead center uh, trying to get it in the lens of the camera there but it's dead center some of the cheaper ones that hole down there was would be off to the side a little it wouldn't be dead center and then the tip on here seems to be a better quality and what I do is I take a little bit of grease on my finger and put on there and grease, whoops, and grease that tip before I set this back on it. 
and I'm very careful how I set the wheel on. But if you're thinking about one, uh, if you're willing to pay the extra $40, you can still get those old ones on Amazon for $60, but you're going to be getting the same one that has some faults. So for another $40, you get what I think is a better quality. I keep it in the box it came in. That box was inside the big box. There's the big box that it comes in right there. And, uh, and then what I also do, this was on the rod in the box. So this is the way I store it. I put that on there and uh, store it with that on there and with the hub in the box. That's the way I store it. Keeps the hub clean and from being damaged and keeps the tip from being damaged. And it works real well. I was real pleased with it. Balance those two tires extremely well. And of course, you know the wheel changer is, is the wheel changer. I've got it bolted to this uh, wood floor. It goes straight into the floor joist under there. And it does real well. So, just a quick video to let you know what my first impressions of the new Harbor Freight uh, bubble wheel balancer along with the Harbor Freight tire changer. And I'll be back hopefully real soon in a few days with some um, videos of the old Harbor Freight Trencher getting back to work now that the weather has finally broken. we got decent weather here. And now I'll be able to drive the little car around without uh, <laughs> shimmying on the front end because the wheat tires were so worn out. I tried to get my money's worth out of them tires. I was getting down to the cord, so it was time to... <laughs> To get rid of them. So I appreciate you visiting us here on the Double M Farm and we'll talk to you again real real soon.